Hello there, my friends. My name is Benjamin Schrader, and as always, I want to welcome you to the Best You HQ. Today, I have an amazing topic in store for you. How to look good in a <coughs> prison, I mean school, uniform. If you want to walk into school and be able to say, I am the most attractive person here, you're going to need one thing. This is the biggest thing, my friends. Get your school shirts tailored. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you want to have a good fit, if you want to be looking good, get your shirts tailored. I took my, my, this is my school dress shirt. So we, we have to wear a dress shirt on mass days where it's where we have mass. It's a Catholic school, but I wear them every day. You also have the option to wear a polo. I've got one of them here. I'm not big. I'm not big on the polos. I really like the dress shirts. So get your dress shirts tailored. Get everything tailored. So you see this gentleman, I got my jacket, so I got my shirt, I made sure that I was looking broad in the chest, but the waist was pulled in. I also made sure that my sleeves were just the right length. Then with your jacket, what you want to do is you want to make sure that, one, your button's looking sturdy, that you've got it pulled in on the sides, and then you've got a nice like a V, almost like you're wearing a V-neck but on a jacket. And you want to make sure that the sleeves on that are coming right to around the bone on your wrist. This means, this assures that you are looking good. Now, boom! Throw on your school-approved tie and you are looking good. Look at this, gentlemen. Already, we've got an excellent outfit on, but what? What is the next key to looking good? There's two things that schools usually don't legislate against. That's the accessories you've got, as long as it's not anything too crazy, but if you've got a nice watch on, you are looking good. I got the Apple Watch on right here. I wear my class ring. I love the way it looks. It really is fantastic. Then, if you really want to spice it up, for gentlemen and I, my friends, my, my brothers, I, I feel so weird saying this. But male jewelry, and now it's not jewelry, their bracelets are really in fashion right now. I'm about to pick one up from Street Co. It's a really cool company. I saw them on Instagram, and I got no affiliation with them in the least, but they really are neat. And those are some fantastic bracelets. Really looking wonderful. I'm going to pick one of those up. So you've got a bracelet. You've got your watch. You've got a ring. You've got some glasses on. Get a nice pair of glasses. These are Versace myself. I really like them. I, I picked them up at Lens Crafters. I've got my prescription in them. They are looking good. But whether you're a Ray-Ban, an Oakley guy, I used to wear Oakleys forever, get a nice pair of glasses. Your shirt's tailored. Your tie's on. Your jacket is looking good. What do you need next? You've got the accessories. Make sure your hair is right. You know what a huge hair guy. Make sure to check out my How to Have Awesome Hair video. I slicked it back more than I usually do, but because I'm testing it out. I'm seeing, I'm testing the waters. But normally, I got my straight out the 50s style. I call this one slicked back and sexy. That is the key. What do you need next? You're saying, Ben, all right, I've got all these things. I've got the accessories. I've got the hair. I've got the tie. What do I need next? You need shoe game. Now that you just received that disturbingly close view of my feet, what's the key to having good shoe game? You say, Ben, they only allow black dress shoes. What am I going to do? Well, my friends, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. This is a horrible analogy because it has absolutely nothing to do with shoes. But when life gives you black shoes, you make sure those are the best looking black shoes at the school. Now you're saying, Benjamin, how do I get my shoes to look good? You need some shoe shiny, and you need some shoes. All right, so to start off, what you want to do, you want to take your shoe and you want to make sure it's clean. You want to make sure that there is no dirt or grime on it. That's step number one. Step number two, you want to take your shoe polish. I won't do it here because we're, we're right over carpet. That could end very badly. But I've got a little on here from the last time I was doing. You want to take your shoe polish, and then you want to rub with some good elbow grease. There's some fantastic tools out here so that you don't have to do that. There's these sponges where they already have it built in and you just rub it straight on. But if you're doing it the old fashioned way and if you, all you have is a, a good set of shoe shining equipment, then make the best with what you've got. Put some elbow grease in. Now there are some shoes, I personally don't like them, that have like a white, like um, 
lacing on them. And if you do, if you have shoes like that, make sure not to hit the lacing because it's going to turn gray or black. So you want to take it, you want to get some good elbow grease in, clean the guy off, and then once you're done, this is just a quick tutorial, you can take a lot more time with it. But then once you're done, you want to take, so give it about five minutes to dry, and then you want to take your brush to it. And you want to give these shoes a good brushing down. Make sure that they are really showing off, and then you will have shoes that sparkle like the sun. Now sometimes in school, who doesn't want to be a bad boy? What are the keys to having that sexy bad boy look? Pop the collar. Make sure it's looking good. Unbutton that first button straight up, and then roll up your sleeves. That's the key, gentlemen. You can arrive in the morning with your sleeves rolled up. You can be saying hi to everybody, greeting. And then by the time the afternoon rolls around, you've got those sleeves rolled up. You are looking good. You are looking spicy. Well, my friends, sometimes compulsory education is unavoidable. I've done all I can for you. But I tell you, my friends, go in there looking the best you ever have. No uniform's perfect, but we're making do with what we've got. My friends, make sure to follow me on my social media links down below. Subscribe to the best you, HQ, become the best version of yourself today. And I have a special surprise for you, my friends. Make sure to follow me on Periscope. I streamed before I was filming this. I've got my, I really like this. It's, I think it's like an Italian tripod. I love it so much. It's so neat. Make sure to follow me on Periscope. I will put a link in the description if I can figure out how, but you guys are the best. I love you so much. And as always, I will see you in the next video.